you're not a loud bang type person, I'd suggest leaving now. Show me your fingers. Stick them in until they touch. Yeah. For something to explode, it needs three things. The three sides of what we call the fire triangle. You need heat, you need fuel, Whoa. and you need oxygen. What we've got inside here is a fuel. So we light it, then what's inside mixes with the air and then ignites. We get that great fireball. So all together, three, two, one. Whoa. We all felt that, right? Because we had all three elements of the fire triangle. We had the hydrogen in there and the oxygen Press in there. Up, and the Whoa. oxygen in together. And kaboom! One second after that balloon was ignited, the shockwave is almost two miles away. Our modern world has been shaped by explosives. What was the first explosive ever invented? Come on, I can't hear you guys at the back. Yes, gunpowder. Gunpowder was actually invented by the Chinese alchemist back in the 10th century. Right, let's make some gunpowder. Right, so I have potassium nitrate, I have sulfur, and I have charcoal. Stop writing this down, you lot. We have gunpowder. We have gunpowder. We have homemade gunpowder. Three, two, one. one. What's the first thing you think about when you hear gunpowder? Cannons! Yes! Here's our cannon, ladies and gentlemen. Are you guys ready for this? The fuse is lit, the gunpowder lights, and the only way for the gas to escape is out the front, so it pushes that cannonball straight out. Low explosives burn, high explosives detonate. One single drop of nitroglycerin. Oh! Oh! Get out there and find something for us to blow up. Ladies and gents, if you have something for us to blow up, an orange! Thanks for your lunch. So I've got half a gram of a high explosive called lead azide in here. Run away! Oh my life, it creates a shockwave and that fires through the whole of the high explosive at a supersonic speed, ripping apart all the molecules and releasing a lot of energy. We're gonna look at the explosions that shape the modern world. You hear those little explosions going off all the time. Gentle, no, gentle. Would you like to see a rocket? Yeah! Let's go. To get into space, you've got to be going a whopping 25,000 miles per hour. Whoa! Barium makes green. What colour do we reckon strontium makes? Oh, look at the red. Oh. 